Hello again. I got asked for a tutorial for this block transmuter I used in my automatic portal, which of course don't work without a source. So now, run and portal off. And that's what most people are interested in, I guess. Well, um, the basic design is this one. Nah. This one. So you might recognize some patterns in here, which you know from other log transmitter designs. But at this point we make a few changes. We add, instead of making a generator of this piston in here, we just uh, make a butt array above it with two inverse butts. So that our signal from the breaking torch gets transported upwards and we have enough space for our well, pulse generator, extreme short pulse generator without um, the need to go down one level and that's because it was meant to destroy bedrock in my world and therefore it was not uh, always possible to place it somewhere with enough space. Well, yeah. Um, torch on this side, on this side, and we are ready to go. So now we might have a little problem. So if you look at this. You see, the piston extends. Um, this doesn't always happen. Sometimes the generator will only send a pulse when you uh, pull your blocks out. But in this case, it also activates if you push it in. So I guess it's uh, kind of well, not really a problem with the um, hash set. Uh, if you're interested in this, stuff. Uh, Sasplank made a very good video explanation for the other hash set and how it affects redstone. Um, well, yeah. So, in this special case, we need to place our piston after we set up the machine. So, that way. But now it's ready. And uh, we want to spoil bedrock. So, that's why I use bedrock block in here. And ready. Block away. Uh, why does it work? Well, pistons use damage values to control whether they should be extended or retracted and also in which direction they should face. Um, the force bit tells the piston if it's extended or retracted. Um, so if you use a block transmitter to change the state of the piston into an extended phase, or extended state. It doesn't check if it's valid, if it's legit to extend this piston at this position. It just assumes that this um, check was already made and it just overrides whatever block lies in there, uh, lies in there with um, the extended arm. So that's why we can destroy every single block, even bedrock. And of course portal blocks. So now we want to make a portal version of this. So uh, we need to make a few changes. First, our water. If we want to face it down, we need damage value 8. Only 4th bit activated. But in case of a portal, we need to face to the side. So in this case, we have uh, F0, that means damage value 11. So let me quickly make that. So, uh, so um, we need damage value 11, so let it flow 3 to the side, 3 blocks, and one block down here, into the torch, and we get damage value 11. Um, I place this piston to the side, so that our portal has enough place in here. Um, now we have another problem. Um, before, 
we could just place our piston facing to the south so it won't extend but now it's facing towards the portal and it's extended because this torch powers it uh, that's why we use the portal itself as a little helper with an obsidian block this won't happen uh, that way so next problem um, how do we make sure that this always works even if our generator produces in both ways extending and retracting very simple we deactivate the generator in here by deactivating the this torch and also we need a way to automatically start or set up this butt switch above that's also no problem we just need to use a signal I just use a redstone dust below the torch and uh, with this signal I can deactivate or activate this torch and I can activate this buttsy here and that's um, really just a bit of wiring I guess you can figure it out yourself um, oh yeah and for the last part the signal you use to uh, activate the water flow you can also use it to make a small extending and retracting of this piston so uh, example this with just a small delay in here our target piston will get retracted again nothing special very easy and uh, well the rest of the wiring is just a bit of getting the timing right so uh, I use a delay of 8 in here after I activate my uh, torch that's not uh, necessary in some cases well um, above I use a pull lengthener to make sure that our butt is really set up but details I guess you can make it yourself now I hope you like it it's one of my favorite designs and yeah thanks for watching